Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video I will show you how to add a sleek dark and light mode to your React app using CSS variables, React context and Tailwind CSS. We will build a smooth theme toggle, handle tricky parts and charts and keep setup simple, modern and easy to maintain. Perfect for any project. Let's dive in and upgrade your UI. In this video we will be upgrading this dashboard uh, by adding dark light mode. This is the same dashboard uh, the one I shown how to build in one of my previous videos. So just quick recap, uh, this dashboard contain of uh, several components. We have sidebar, we have navbar with the title and search input. As well, we have some cards with the stats and few charts. And let's have quick uh, code recap. It's a pretty simple setup. We have app component, uh, we render everything here. And also we have components folder where we hold our card, charts and sidebar plus navbar. And that's what we're gonna work with today. Talking about implementation of uh, dark light mode in the app, uh, that could be achieved with different approaches. Especially if you're using Tailwind CSS, you can configure it in that way that it would support uh, by default dark light mode. So with the special utility classes, you can specify how this specific component is gonna look on the dark mode. And also you have ability to add the toggle which is gonna toggle that dark light mode in your app. I will show you in high level how it looks and how it works. For this video I decided to take another approach and use CSS variables. Also we will add theme provider which is gonna be responsible for toggling that theme. This approach I can say it's not typical for applications uh, built with the Tailwind CSS, but I want to showcase that way of implementing dark and light mode uh, so you can apply it also in your app if you don't use Tailwind CSS. So let's get started and first I will show you how to achieve that simple implementation of dark light mode in Tailwind CSS apps. To be able to enable dark mode in Tailwind CSS we need to create another file with a config of Tailwind here how it looks like. So in that config we should add dark mode field. The value here can be media or class. So what is the difference? If you specify media, in that way Tailwind will apply theme based on the system preference. So if you use dark mode in your system, then your app is gonna use also dark mode. And actually it works pretty simple under the hood because Tailwind CSS rely on media query which looks like that. So media prefers color scheme dark and in that case uh, we use dark theme. Then what happens if you specify class here? In that way dark mode applies only when dark class present in ancestor element. Typically it can be HTML or body. That would look something like that. So we will have class dark here. And to be able to toggle that class globally, we need to implement some tweaks in the code. In simple way, it will look something like this. So we will check in document element if there is in class list dark, then we will do something with that. And in terms of component, we also need to specify them how to behave in case if dark mode enabled. So the classes for this will look like that. If dark mode enabled, we will make background red. And here also if dark mode enabled, we will make text white. So that's how it works on the high level. But now let's dive in into implementation with CSS variables. That will be pretty cool. So what is gonna be the plan for that? First, we need to create separate CSS file with the theme specification. Then we need to create a theme provider. We're gonna use React context for that. And it's gonna be responsible for toggling uh, the theme. Then we need to create this toggle theme button and place it at navbar. And the last step, we need to update our components to support that toggle of the themes. I have created another folder styles and here I place that CSS file with theme specification. Since we will have only two themes, light and dark, so we need to create two classes here, light and dark. Okay, and here is our light theme variables. Here we have variables related to background, text, border, uh, and chart grid, and chart colors as well. All of this we're gonna use to style our components uh, depend on the theme. For dark theme is pretty similar as for the light, but with different colors. You see differences in background, card background, in text, in chart uh, colors as well. The shades is a bit different. Um, and as well to borders has different colors. So that's uh, what we're gonna use for uh, dark theme. Another thing what we can add here is uh, classes. 
So it's going to be our utility classes just to line up with a Tailwind since we're using Tailwind for that project. And uh, here we also use that uh, variables we just created here. That's what we're going to use for our components. And also we're going to use this variables straight away at our chart implementation. Now it's time to create a theme provider. For that, let's create another folder providers. And here, let's create another file theme provider dot tsx okay so first let's define uh, types so here is our theme type we're gonna have only light and dark and also we need interface with the theme context type uh, here it will have type uh, the one we declare here and also we will have function to google the theme now we declare a theme context and we use react uh, context for that let's import it the initial value is set to undefined uh, to enforce proper usage uh, through provider here we use union type uh, with a theme context type and undefined uh, that acknowledge that uh, context will start with undefined value then we need to create custom hook use theme and it's going to use use context hook inside to consume the theme context let's import use context and also we add in here error checking uh, just to make sure that use theme uh, is used within a theme provider and the next one is going to be a theme provider itself but before we start implementing theme provider we need to also declare interface for that theme provider is gonna receive children because theme provider is going to be a wrapper for whole our app component then we can implement uh, theme provider using that props type and the first thing in this uh, theme provider we need to initialize the theme and we're gonna get this theme from local storage if it exists there otherwise if theme doesn't exist in local storage we will return default theme uh, which is gonna be light then we need to handle a case when user toggle the theme so we need to update our elements with the new colors for that we're going to use a use effect and in dependencies we need to specify theme so in case if theme changes we need to run this logic again inside use effect we set our theme in uh, local storage here we remove all theme classes to enforce a clean state and here we add current theme class to html element and on that part we do this smooth repaint on theme change and one small thing if you use uh, timeout in use effect uh, don't forget to do cleanup as well and after use effect, we need to add a function toggle theme uh, that helps to reset the state of the theme. So for example, to change it from dark to light and from light to dark. And in that uh, theme context provider, we need to add that values, the current theme and that toggle function. And now we can export that theme provider. Basically, that's it. Uh, let's go and implement toggle button. Let's create here another file and call it theme button in that component uh, we need to use our use theme custom hook to get the current theme and also to trigger that function to tool the theme here is the button and as you see here we have sun and moon icon i have added them here so it's just svg icons of uh, moon and sun i think it would be pretty cool for a uh, toggle button to show that icons as you see on uh, button click we use that uh, toggle theme function and also we use this theme value actually for three purposes uh, the first one is a styling of the button here uh, the second one is a title of the button so depends on this uh, theme we show a proper title and the third one and the last one is uh, to define which icon to show basically that's it about a theme button so now we can import it to navbar component and let's place it right close to input search input perfect the next thing what we have to do is to go back to app uh, component and to wrap it up uh, with a theme provider okay that's done so now let's take a look at the dashboard as you see here is the theme button toggle the one we just added uh, so let's try and click on it okay as you see uh, classes and styles of this button changes icon as well uh, got changed but styles uh, were not applied to whole dashboard and actually it is correct uh, because first of all we didn't import our new theme styles to app uh, component and besides that we didn't update our components with these new styles let's do that now okay let's start with the uh, app components and let's import that uh, styles uh, theme css 
And now we can use that utility classes uh, we created in that uh, theme.css. And specifically, let's try to use that background theme. Let's try to substitute that uh, background gray 100 with this class, a background theme. And also we add a transition colors and duration 200. So let's try clicking on that button and see what will happen. As you see, the main container took uh, the dark uh, theme background, the one we actually expected. Cool, so let's continue updating the rest of the components. In card component, uh, we need to do pretty much the same as we did in app component. So here we need to substitute the classes we created before with the new classes from uh, theme.css. And as you see, here we add this uh, background card and also we add that transition uh, shadow and duration. And besides that, we add in this text theme muted class and text theme primary for uh, text in the card. For now bar, the same approach. You see here our classes, background card. Uh, here we use text theme primary as well here in input we have that classes with also transitions for sidebar sidebar we will keep as it is so it will look nice in the both in dark and light theme so now let's update chart for pie chart we need to add uh, additional field in the options and uh, in this field we will have for color and background and here we will use uh, straight away css variables the one we declared and also we will upgrade uh, parent container of the chart. Uh, we will use the same classes we used for the rest of the components. For Duna chart is gonna be pretty much the same. And also I want to pay attention on that div. Uh, this extra div we need to highlight a bit the chart. It will have lighter background than the card. Uh, the same actually I used for the pie chart here. And for the line chart is a bit different. Uh, here we need to import our custom hook uh, use theme uh, because we need this value for the line chart tooltip. Here in the chart part, we also add this four color and background using uh, CSS variables. And then we use this theme value here in the tooltip just to specify which uh, theme of the tooltip we need to use. And in terms of the wrapper container is pretty much the same as we did for the pie and donut chart. So now let's uh, take a look at it at the browser. Okay, we have our default light theme. Now let's try click here and uh, turn it to dark theme. Perfect. As you see, dark theme successfully applied. And that's what I was saying about uh, charts. So we have that uh, gray background here. So this is uh, another uh, wrapper, what we created for that. And let's take a look at the tooltip of the line chart. So you see also become uh, in dark theme color. That's it. So wrapping up uh, that approach with creating CSS variables, it's actually pretty flexible and scalable. So you can add uh, much more themes here, like dark, pink, uh, green, blue, whatever. And uh, you can toggle them in your toggle button. So let's say you can create some selector and user can uh, select the theme uh, user prefers. That's a great benefit about that approach. And that's it for today. Now you have seen how to add a dark and light mode to the dashboard, and now you have all the tools to bring that feature into your project. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe for more dev insights. Also, I would like to hear from you. Do you like the format I follow in these videos? Do you prefer quick overviews or you would like to see step-by-step -step deep dive? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.